<clears throat> Hi, this is Alan from Alpus Group, and I'm just going to introduce you to Property Filter if you haven't already used it. <clears throat> it's a really good software tool for sourcing both residential and commercial property leads. And how it works is you set up um, your leads generator. First of all, you set uh, an area, a geographical area, <clears throat> postcode area and you set um, filters for either commercial or residential property. This filter we've set up for commercial and uh, this filter we've set up for residential leads. So on the commercial one we've set a limit of 50,000 to 500,000 and on the residential we've set up from 100,000 to a million pounds. If we look at um, this particular deal, that's the um, geographical area. And then these are the um, criteria that you need to set. So are you looking to buy or to rent or to control? So that's purchase, lease, option, opportunity. Um, what type of building it is, uh, office, retail, leisure, industrial, other, um, so we can filter on those, slightly change from the previous search, confirm you want to edit, check leads, we look at this one has been on the market more than 90 days um, this one is overpriced 6,600 per square meter which considering it's only 56 square meters it's not really of much use to us I mean it could convert into a house <coughs> but um, uh, priced at that level uh, it doesn't allow any margin for conversion costs so it's not going to stack up and then if we look at this other one these bo are both sold subject to contract and those look like they are this one is 59,000 no opportunity there to convert to it residential and this one as well doesn't look like it's um, suitable for commercial conversion to residential so already we've shown a few leads um, <clears throat> pipeline uh, we have put these two items in the pipeline here this one we're going to do some further investigation on that's reasonably priced three and a half thousand per square meters perhaps a little bit overpriced this one is slightly lower priced but this one says it's sold subject to contract and it's not a very attractive building anyway. So this one may be the preferable one to go for conversion to residential. So we need to work some more on the figures. We did a preliminary assessment based on the area of 139 square meters at 1500 pounds a square meter would give a conversion cost of around two, 200,000 pounds. Um, and um, therefore it would require cash or a mortgage of something like £363,000. It does give a return on investment of 13.1%, but it's not really high enough for us, so it's not, not an ideal project. And why would we bother risking our investment in that property when it, it's got a very narrow margin for error? <coughs> Follow up deal calculator. We'll show the deal calculator for this one. Uh, GU one one A N buy to let um, price offer four hundred thousand. Um, this is, assumes that they would accept something like a twenty percent reduction. Would need cash of three hundred and sixty four thousand. Rental income would be three thousand nine hundred per calendar month 
and the return on investment would be 13.1%. So it's not a very exciting project at all. Um, just to remind you that's the property floor plan and pictures there. Need to do due diligence on it. Read this. Available accommodation comprises ground and first floor office spaces, benefit from a period field given a mixture of exposed stone floors, exposed timbers. Offices extend to some 1500 square feet, so possibly it would convert to three units. In a two story self contained building in a terrace of three, the premises benefit from a well appointed kitchen, wall mounted radiators, and WC facilities. Property is situated in the King's Arms and Royal Hotel, a few yards off the main high street in the heart of Godalming Town Centre, convenient for the local shopping facilities and amenities. Godalming is an attractive market town situated approximately four miles southwest of Guildford, provides a good mix of multiple and local traders, and it's got good road and rail communications. So it is in quite a good location, um, but it's a matter of whether we can obtain the property and alter it for a, a mar uh, sufficient um, price that we can earn a margin of something like 25%. So it's well short, so we'd have to offer either less than 400,000 or we'd have to find a way of reducing the conversion costs. And I wouldn't be keen to do that without being absolutely certain that it would actually work because um, Otherwise, you end up with a very risky project if you pay too much for a building in the first place and then your costs are significant. You've got no margin in the deal. So if we go back to the properties list. At our dashboard, we've got um, residential leads, none, commercial property leads, two. Well, we're looking for commercial to residential conversions, so that is where we need to focus our time. So we should um, maybe have a look at another area. So we add a new lead generator for commercial property, and we select our postcode. Um, PO nine two RL Do we want to buy, rent or control or control? We look for opportunities for purchase lease options. <coughs> 